Western Kentucky University, home of the Hilltoppers, a school that has built a tradition over tailgating the past few football seasons. However, due to the events last season, such as rain and the loud speakers that the students have brought, their students are now being moved to this parking lot across the street from the Sigma Alpha Epsilon Fraternity House, which is located right behind Cherry Hall. On any given fall Saturday, students would park their cars along Big Red's Way, preparing for the night's game. I recently spoke with WKU's Greek advisor, Gary Weiser, about uh, the reasons behind his decision for moving the students all the way across the street um, to the parking lot right by this SAE house. The reason why we had, uh, had to move tailgating and change some of the policies is that we've had a lot of issues that we've had to, um, to deal with over the years, like excessive drinking, drinking games, uh, people who have decided to leave uh, the tailgating area after they have been drinking, so you know there, there's been some some behavioral issues that we have to correct. But also after um, you know the rain that we had uh, and other issues where we're we're tearing up the lawn, um, that's not really what you know we're supposed to be doing. So um, what they're going to do is trying to correct these policies and take it to a more controlled area that we feel like the students will have more fun at um, over in the Adam Street parking lot. So far, I think this is a really good idea. Um, the students really want their own tailgating area, and from what we've seen in other schools, um, there, there are designated student areas, and I think this is probably the perfect compromise where they can still tailgate with their cars and still be in a, in a central area for the students. So I think that the ideas that athletics has and trying to partner with the administration to make sure this is a successful event, um, you know, I, I think it's going to work out for the better. After hearing about uh, Western Kentucky's decision to move tailgating across the street, uh, I went to the Sigma Alpha Epsilon house to talk to some of the brothers that live there to see what their opinions were about uh, having it so close to their house and um, you know, how they felt as if people you know, were going to break into their house and steal some things or uh, if this was going to be a good thing. There's just so much tradition in the way we used to do it that it'd be difficult to because there's a big red, big red walk they do. It's always great to see, and out on the lawn, it's just a great atmosphere. And really, I just don't know if I like having all these drunk college kids around all the fraternity houses. That's just asking for trouble to happen. I think. But then again, I I could be totally wrong, and maybe it will wind up being for the best. But right now, I'm not really in favor of it. So what kind of uh, trouble do you think uh, could happen through all this tailgating things being moved? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know specifically, but I just know here at the SAE House we've had our incidents with people breaking in, breaking things, stealing stuff, you know, and I think putting people in a position to do that just increases those chances. And, I mean, uh, and maybe they won't do anything wrong, but... I think putting a lot of college students with alcohol near all these fraternity houses, just, just asking for something to get broken or stolen or just maybe even some fights to break out because of the proximity. I talked to Barry Quinn about uh, supposedly they were going to have either a DJ or a, maybe a concert next year instead of uh, having a lot of students bring their speakers uh, with, their, with their cars because uh, that caused a lot of problems last year and I got his input on uh, how he felt about that situation. All right, Barry. Um, supposedly Western has been talking about maybe either getting a DJ or even a concert out in that parking lot instead of having a bunch of students bring speakers in front of their car. Uh, how do you feel about that? I uh, definitely totally disagree with that. Um, if we get a DJ, it's just more cost. You know, you got to look into who's going to pay for it, uh, where that money's going to come from. Um, it's just easier if individuals or uh, just uh, different organizations such as fraternities or uh, even student organizations bring in their own stuff. Um, it's just go, it gets a little too complicated when you go bring in an extra DJ or try to get a concert set up. It's too much, especially when you're away pretty much on a corner of a campus. It's just not a great location either for that. Big Red's Way has been one of the many great traditions here at Western Kentucky, and a lot of the students have been worried because we moved out here if uh, they were still going to continue it, because we used to be right across the street from, uh, from the basketball stadium, so, you know, the, they would all walk down that way, and, you know, because we moved out here, we don't know if we're going to do that anymore. So recently, I talked to Giovanni DeVita, uh, Sigma Alpha Epsilon's training.
treasurer, and I got his uh, insight on you know, what he thought about uh, what they were going to do with the Big Reds way. All right, Gio. Uh, supposedly they want to um, move us over here right across the street from the SAE house, and uh, what are they going to do about Big Reds Walk? Because I know that's been a big tradition with uh, Western Kentucky tailgating. Do you think they're going to still do it? Uh, I really don't see how they're going to do it because, uh, you know, Big Reds Walk is always down uh, Avenue of Champions, and uh, obviously the parking lot that they're planning on doing it is not on Avenue of Champions. So uh, I don't. I, I think that's a huge tradition that uh, is, that Western has, and that's something that people look forward to. All right, and Blair. Um, I was going to ask you about uh, how you thought that moving the tailgate across the parking lot could be a good thing for the university. I think that generally it's a good thing because obviously we can't continue having tailgating um, on the grounds, on our greenery, because that's one of the biggest pros for um, visitors and for potential students who are coming for tours is all of, of our greenery and all the green land that we have because a lot of campuses don't have that. And I think that it's important that we have a collective space where all the students can come together and tailgate and have fun together um, because obviously the, the current system hasn't really been working and it hasn't been a whole lot of fun. But we can't continue to mess up our grounds, you know, on that rainy day when it was just all mud. It, it ruined our grounds and it took months to get it repaired. So I think that, that overall it's definitely a good thing. All right, Kaylee, um, as you know, they're moving us across the street from the Sigma Alpha Epsilon house in that parking lot. Um, do you think on a positive note that this is uh, going to help boost attendance for football games and uh, help bring back that Western Kentucky tradition? Um, I think it's a really great idea, actually. I know a lot of people are opposed to it, but um, I know it'll just be just the Greeks there. So I think it'll be a great way to bring all the Greeks together because I know there's a lot of rivalries between the different ones sometimes. And um, I know in past years, I've attended SA's homecoming brunch before the game and tailgating. And so we always walk from the house to tailgating in the game. So I don't think it'll be any different. I don't think it'll change anything. And I think it'll be a really positive new thing. As you can see, uh, a lot of the students and faculty have uh, mixed feelings about this new tailgating tradition. But uh, I feel like in the long run, uh, you know, the students are going to embrace it, and hopefully our football team will be uh, pretty good this year, so it'll help boost attendance, and uh, I think the students are going to have to just come out and see for themselves uh, how this new tailgating is going to end up being at the beginning of next semester, and uh, hopefully...